Hey guys, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this fast shutter effect in Premiere Pro. All right, you can see on the timeline, I have got 10 different video clips. Each of these video clips consists of nine frames, maintaining a consistent length throughout. However, the last video clip stands out as it exceeds the standard length, containing more than nine frames. In the next step, we have to apply some effects. Before we do that, let's talk about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Motion Array. Motion Array is an all-in-one platform for motion graphics and video templates. With Motion Array, you can create stunning videos without any experience. Motion Array has everything you need to create professional-looking videos, including thousands of high-quality video templates, motion graphics for all occasions, stock footage and music, and easy-to-use editing tools. Motion Array is perfect for businesses, marketers, and anyone else who wants to create engaging videos without the hassle. With Motion Array, you can create videos that will wow your audience and help you achieve your goals. Visit Motion Array today and start creating amazing videos. So let's go back to the tutorial. Now, we have to move the time indicator to the first video clip, and then let's select the first video clip and move over to the effects panel to apply some effects. Firstly, I'm going to apply a directional blur effect. Let's double click on the directional blur effect to apply to the first video clip. Next, I'm going to apply another effect. This is a transform effect. Lastly, I am going to apply a brightness and contrast effect to control the overall lightness or darkness of the video clip. Now, let's go over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. From the directional blur effect, let's make the direction parameter value around 55 degrees. After that, we have to make the blur length parameter value around 0.3. In the next step, we have to customize the transform effect. Firstly, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the first video clip, and then we need to create keyframes for the position parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Now, to adjust the Y position parameter, slowly increase its value until the video is completely out of view, and stop once the video disappears entirely from your line of sight, and then move the time indicator three frames forward. Now, we have to set the Y position parameter value as default by clicking on this reset parameter icon. All right, now you can see the changes on the program monitor. After that, let's make the shutter angle parameter value around 100. Again, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the first video clip. Next, we need to create keyframes for the brightness parameter and the contrast parameter of the brightness and contrast effect by clicking on the stopwatch icon. After that, we have to make the brightness parameter value around 100, and then we have to make the contrast parameter value around 40. Next, move the time indicator three frames forward. Here, we have to make the brightness and the contrast parameter value around zero by clicking on this reset parameter icon. Now, we need to select all the effects that have been applied in the first video clip. Once selected, we will copy these effects to ensure we have them ready for use. Next, we need to select the rest of the video clips and paste all the copied effects onto them. Now let's go to the last video clip. After that, we need to move the time indicator to the beginning of the last video clip, and then move the time indicator six frames forward. Next, let's move the last keyframes of the brightness and contrast parameters to this position. This will create a nice flash effect after the fast shutter effect. All right, let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the first video clip. Now we need to move the time indicator three frames forward. Next, I am going to move the second video clip to this position in video layer two. Again, we need to move the time indicator three frames forward. Next, I am going to move the third video clip to this position in video layer 3. Repeat this process for each of the video clips. This process will create a nice fast shutter effect. Alright, with these couple of steps, we have created a really simple and nice fast shutter effect. And finally, we need to incorporate the fast shutter sound effect to enhance the visual transition. This sound effect will create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience. Alright, in this way, you can create a really simple and nice fast shutter effect in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. 